Hey everyone, it's Ron, and you're watching what Ron plays, and we are here with part four of our Starfield series. Um, we are picking up where we left off. We're going through the quest, the old neighborhood, and we have to go talk to Moara, I believe is the name, on Cydonia. So we're going with Sarah, Sarah Morgan from Constellation to see if we can find another piece of the artifact. So a couple things, you know, we were having a few performance issues, so what I did is I overnight I moved the game to one of my SSD drives so I had it on a 14 terabyte um, Western digital hard drive which is where all my other games are stored but I also have an M2 drive and three S, uh, SSD drives so I did move it to one of the SSD drives there's nothing else on it so I'm hoping we'll improve some of those cutscenes where the music would cut out but we'll see um, either way we'll make it work um, also I've got Rocky the Corgi Wonder Dog in my room with me, so hopefully he won't start barking. If he does, you know, I guess we'll deal with it. That's life, but um, I'm glad you're here. I hope you have fun, and let's get going. All right, I don't know if I need to put my spacesuit on yet. I don't think I'm going to, which could be a mistake if we get like a breach in our ship, but. I guess we'll find out. So I don't know if I can... You know, I'm wondering if I can uh, look at my star map and see where it is ahead of time and just go there, maybe? Uh, let's see. So it's obviously not Elvis Centauri. It's going to be in Seoul. So... Let me see. Can I choose it? it? Looks like I can. Welcome to UC Space. Maintain your current course while we scan your ship's cargo. Okay, so <laughs> that was pretty darn quick. So I didn't even have to go through the takeoff process. I didn't have to uh, boost up my grab drive. So that's pretty good. I'm pretty pretty pleased with that. So let's see, we need to find Moara. So I think I need to scan the, sh scan the planet, I think. So let's see, we do that. Left button is scan. Alright, so 71% survey, that's pretty good. So we will go here. Alright, I think, maybe. Yeah, we're gonna land. Alright, so that's nice to know. We don't actually have to go through the cutscene of taking off. Do notice that the... That the, uh... Well, I don't know if I should mention that the music isn't pausing yet, but... A little twirler in the lower right isn't going, though. But hey, the music didn't stop. So if you remember last time when this cutscene happened... Um, it cut out almost the whole time, so it does look like the SSD greatly improved the performance. So I have a feeling I don't see anybody outside, so let me get up. I have a feeling we got to wear a spacesuit for this one. Because I don't, doesn't look like I'm inside. So let me go to my inventory. I can go down to spacesuits. So we'll put on that spacesuit. And then we'll go down. May as well equip a pack, right? I think we have to for like breathing purposes and stuff. Be my guess. And helmet. Which one do we want? <laughs> I don't want a pirate one, look. Doesn't that, like, mess up your vision? <laughs> I like the shape better, but kind of creeping me out, to be honest. So, we'll stick with the deep mining space helmet. Hopefully I won't collect a bunch of stuff, because I don't think I emptied out Vasco, which is sad, but... Alright, it doesn't say I have to talk to her. So I guess we'll just bail. We're in Cydonia. 
It's the only decent place in town to grab a drink. Aha. Uh -huh. That's obviously a clue. Here I go with my thrown elbows again. Sounds very ominous, doesn't it? What's this? Control console? Oh. <laughs> Didn't like that. Is she... Is she still not following me? Where is she? Well, there she is. Okay, thank goodness. Um, how do I get over there? Oh, I have to go over the ramp. Alright. Come on, Sarah, keep up. So I don't see anything going on with my O2 or CO2, so... I guess we'll see how that all works. Wait till I, like, miss an exit here? Oh, I did. <laughs> is she still following me? Oh yeah, there she is. She's doing a better job of following me than she was before. This is definitely running a lot smoother on the, uh, on the SSD. I'm curious to see if... Suppose that would explain the brownouts. So, what's this going to run? There are no other surprises. Mid five figures. Five figures? Five? Fine. Do it. I'll be at the bar. Find me when it's done. We're on it, sir. So I'm wondering if the cut scenes at the beginning, you know, when they first did that first line of talking, if they're still going to be delayed. Who's this guy? Take care of your shit. Could end up costing you otherwise. Thanks. Look at that, I got a little jetpack. That's pretty cool. So separate if you look in the lower right. There's sir. If you look in the lower right, you'll see the, the little boost thing pop up when you use that jetpack, so that's cool. Don't know that I necessarily want to go run around and do anything, so let's go in here. I'm assuming you're going to the bar, because that's where all these seedy characters hang out. They said nobody likes Mars, so it is kind of uh, unforgiving. Trying to open. Oh, well, there we go. I guess the other person I had to go through first, maybe. Could be. Cydonia. Hey, somebody could paint that sign. Come on. <laughs> That's very Fallout ish. Okay. So I guess I could take all my stuff off. Wish I had an easier way to do this. So... Do that. Oh, that takes the whole thing off. Maybe? I think so, because I think it shows if I have it on. Let's see. He tried to this yep. dusty red rock. We I think we have a couple contracts ending at the end of next month. If possible, they may not extend them. This is bullshit. I got a wife and kids. The language! We can't wait almost two months for a job that may not even exist then. Hey, hey, I get it. But there's nothing I can do. It's out of my hands. You can take it up with corporate. Sorry, but I have to get back to work. Come on, forget it. Let's get out of here. Maybe it's not too late to catch a ride back home. Tim. Yeah, you're right. Screw this. Where's Trevor? Finding's fair work, but you can't take it all so seriously, I always tell my mates. But 
Bullet rocks out of the ground. Center of Hopefully you'll spaceships. Place to connect with others. Welcome, welcome. Nice to meet you. Name's Trevor. Mining director for the Deimos Mining Project here in scenic underground Sudan. <laughs> I could spare a minute or two to chat. So long as you're not looking for mining work, I suppose. Hmm. It doesn't sound like it. Let's try that. Uh, not so bad for one of the oldest mines in the settled systems. We struggle with the lack of decent equipment, but we work hard and make up for it. As I'm sure you know, we're responsible for supplying resources to Deimos Star Yards, which in turn is responsible for supplying UC naval vessels. That, among other major projects, makes us one of the United Colony's most important mining operations. The prestige and pay that comes with it almost makes up for being stationed at the arse end of the settled systems in the middle of nowhere. Interesting. So it sounds like these guys are the guys that are supplying the star yard for spacecraft, and they're the direct competition to Mr. Walter Stroud's business. So maybe that's going to tie together somewhere. Let's keep asking some oh, questions. Oh, nothing to worry about. We do fracking on Mars with subterranean particle detonations. Those announcements are just to let people know when to expect them. Now, you probably felt the rumble when the detonations actually go off. That's all it is. Not too bad, eh? <laughs> I guess. Hmm. Um. Uh, hmm. Let's keep trying to find out more. Basically, it's high-tech mining. We use immensely powerful controlled particle detonations deep underground to loosen up subterranean gases and other difficult-to-gather resources so we can harvest them. It sounds way more dangerous than it is. Probably. Actually, it's still pretty dangerous if you don't know what to do it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on, mate. It's perfectly safe. We're miles away, so all we get is a little jiggle now and again. <laughs> Just make sure to hold the railing when going downstairs and you'll be fine. A little jiggle till you get a little crack in there. Crack in something because space comes sucking you out. Yep, there that's me. Joined up with Deimos when I was just 17 as a mining gopher. Go for this, go for that, you know how it is. I worked hard, proved myself capable, and got the promotion to mining director about six years ago, after the old boss retired. Some of the older guys resent me, but I give everyone a lot of leeway as long as they meet their quotas. So that keeps them happy enough. Argos, huh? Yeah, I've heard of them. That's great, but yeah, unfortunately all our mining contracts are filled right now. Unless... Maybe you could help me out with a job. Off the books. Uh-huh. Sarah, better plug your ears. Great! I promise it's nothing that'll get anyone in any kind of trouble. See, you might have noticed that our equipment ain't exactly holding together like it used to. Problem is... He smiles. ...new equipment unless we start exceeding our quotas. And we can't do that until we get new equipment. A real dilemma, right? I've got a plan for solving our little problem, though. Uh-oh. Let's find out. Why not? Okay. Glad you're still on board. First, I need someone from the outside to bolster our yields so we can prove that we can exceed our quota. I'll fill you in on the rest of the details after you've hauled up some more. One standard quota should do. I need to know I can trust you with the easy stuff first. Hmm. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, don't you think I want to? Corporate sets the contracts and they're not giving out anymore, so we work with what we've got. Something to do with insurance, benefits, and uh, other liabilities, so I don't make the rules. Hmm. Alright, let's keep... Of course not. Let's keep grilling them. I'll pay you out of my own pocket. I care about my miners, even if corporate doesn't understand our struggles down here. I'm willing to put in some sacrifices to help, that's just the kind of guy I am. If I had the credits to buy all the equipment myself, I would. But this is the next best thing. Okay, I think we'll do it. Got enough? Drop it off in the bin over there for processing. Then come see me. It's been a long time 
since I've been to Mars. Soul system doesn't get a lot of traffic. Hmm. Set mission active. So how can I? Oh, there we go. Down to missions. So let's. Um... No, I think we'll stay on the main one at the moment. We'll come back around to that. Uh oh. Kind of a detonation. <laughs> that doesn't seem particularly safe. All right, we need to go find. We need to go find Duke. That's true, Gilly. We know. You have. You get a lot of new faces passing through here. Can't say I'm a fan of excitement and drama around here. It's been hard, but I'm getting through it. I'll be okay. Hey. What's your poison? Uh, guess we have to uh, look at all, oh, maybe? Oh, there we go. Holy moly, look at the price. I didn't think things were so expensive. Um, I think we'll go with the uh, pale ale. Oh, well, let's do red ale. Let's do that. Oh, we'll only do one. <laughs> Thanks. How about a girls only weekend to Paradiso sometime soon to cheer you up? That sounds great. Don't you be don't a stranger. Hello. I don't know if they were going to keep talking. I was trying to and it work. Look at this guy. You have room for one more on your crew? I'm only looking to earn my own rate. 7500 credits. Hmm. Why is that? Let's see. Let's try a plus four. In my experience, the right offer is always worth waiting for. Sure, that one didn't work. You don't like it. Find someone else to deal with. <laughs> oh. I, I, I can't stand just doing a plus one. Yeah, no, no, no. That's okay. I, I, I think I got it. Did I get him? Let's go. Oh. For you? I'd consider a discount. Okay. Better than being unemployed, I suppose. Thirty-seven fifty. Thanks. Where are you sending me? Okay. Manage your crew. Review and change your assignments between your ships and outposts. Different crew have different skills which enhance your ship or outposts. Okay. Um. Right now, I only have one ship, so you will do that. Yes. So it looked like I only have room for two... Two people. I don't see the name, though. I see the assignment. Oh, name is Ballistic Weapon Specialist. That's it? Can't, like, rename him? He doesn't have, like, a name? I'm on my way. He doesn't have a name like Bob or Frank or something. Just passing through or here to stay. That's kind of odd. No. Check. And let's see. Plenty. But if I went blabbing them to any rando that walks into my bar, no one would ever tell me anything around here. You don't do this job for 45 years by losing your customer's trust. Okay. Um. You don't guess. You know that. And you better know it if you want to keep drinking in my bar. Well, that wasn't very nice. 
Hmm. All right. He ain't been around. Went off on patrol. Hasn't been back in since. We're starting to think it might be time to pour one out to the blackest sea. Hmm. Let's see. Well, you know what the blackest sea is. It's obviously outer space. Um. Sounds about right. Yeah. Look, nothing more I'd love than to help out a fellow Martian, especially one that's missing. But. <clears throat> He has a tab, and you don't know if he's coming back. It's a lot of credits, okay? <laughs> I let it slide for a long time because he's a regular, but... If I'm out all that money, I got problems. What do you say? 2,500? Hmm. <laughs> oh, let's see. Let's have her say that. No, I've done this routine. Let's skip to the part where you admit you're lying about what he owes. You call me a liar? I'll throw both of you out of this bar right now. Oh, please. Two strangers arrive from Offworld asking for information only you have. You see an opportunity. Everyone always does. Lower the price. Don't think we can't find another way to get what we want. You go, Sarah. Fine. See? All right, let's try and do a persuade. Come on, life on Sidonia ain't hard enough. You gonna guilt trip me? Hmm. Yeah, let's try that one. Don't try to guilt trip me, okay? Come on. Guess I should ask you the same question. You Ooh. paying or what? Come on. Maybe. Did I get him? I hear you. Hmm. I wish I could. But if anybody found out I'd help you, that's enough. Oh. Either pay up or get out. I'm done talking about this. Yeah, I guess I gotta pay the, uh... Agreed on a discount, right? Let me confirm the amount. Okay. Let's talk. Last time he was here, Moera kept yelling about the Lady of Love. <laughs> Singing songs. All that kind of thing. Venus? That's only one planet. Hardly an entire patrol route. I got what I got, okay? Fine. We'll make do. Hmm. All right. Empty chunks packaging. I don't want empty chunks. All right, so we got to go back to our ship. So Remember right, I can do that. I can go up there. Nope, that's wrong. It's been going on about the heart of Mars again. When she gonna give it a eh, rest? I ducked. So let me see. Speak with Layla. Speak with Layla popped up there. Where's Layla? Which one's Layla? Layla. Uh, am I glad I got this job instead of mining some dead rock out in the middle of nowhere? Hi there, friend. Andromeda, that's a cool name. Can't believe we're still pulling up huge mineral deposits after all this time. Mars isn't for everyone. Okay, somehow I missed Layla, but that's her. Right. I kind of assumed that was Layla. Work in the deep mines. That's where you make the big books. We 
fill in. What can I do you for? There's like people all over the place. So I could do this, uh... I could do that mining thing real quick. Why don't I do that? So I think I'm gonna go here. Go down to missions. And then go... Up to this one. So let's do that. So where do I have to go to do that one? It doesn't seem to have changed things. So I wish I knew if I... I wish I knew whether I had to keep taking my suit on and off. I mean, she's not wearing anything. So what if I open it? Let's see. Maybe it'll be my first death. <laughs> Will it be my first death? Careful. This area is rife with some type of... Yes, I, so I have to put it on. Obviously. Did I put my pack on? So I don't know if it... it looks like it puts my helmet on. It looks like my pack is on also. It is. Alright. Airborne toxin. Okay, so obviously I have to put it on. Thanks, sir, for letting me know. Yeah, see, I've got a little environmental damage down there. So, like, I thought... I thought I switched... So I didn't switch it, so I'm down on missions. What do I need to do? So show on map is what? So where am I? So I'm here. Okay, there's gonna be a, a Stuff somewhere, let's see. So I told it to show resources. But I don't see like anything. Oh, there's lead. So there's my ship. There's also lead. So is there lead close to me? Hmm. told it to show me on the map. I think that's still my ship, though. Yeah, that's still my ship. Yeah, I don't even know if I have my cutter with me. I think I do. So can I just wander everywhere? And can I just go out here and like mine stuff? I don't want to get landed on. So it looks like it's just letting me run out of the middle of nowhere. here I can go to my inventory go to weapons I go down to my cutter I'll do that 
Put my surveyor back on. Alright. So I need to get 10 lead for this guy. So it looks like my limit might be in that like white area. Might be the farthest I can go. Sarah's so probably like, what are you doing? Lead? Where? Where's lead? Mm -hmm. A band of mines. Keeps telling me to go back to the ship. Good grief. I don't want to get blown up. So my CO2 and O2 don't seem to be wiggling much. I'm assuming those are what the bars are on the left and right side back there, so... So this is lead, but I don't know. Fire that here? What's the matter with you? Oh, she <laughs> She's like, what's the matter with you? Okay, that was funny. Sir's <laughs> so like, I don't mind you running all over the place like an idiot, but don't just go shoot your cutter everywhere. <laughs> she said, don't be an idiot. That was kind of funny. Aqueous hematite. Ooh, that's taking some cutting. Look at that. That took some work. I want to keep heading to that mine. So we're not dying yet, so that's a good thing. So if like every planet's like this where you can just run around all over the place, that's gonna be pretty freaking cool. Come on, you can do it. So I'm hoping this aqueous hematite is like good stuff. I'm not like completely wasting my time. Oh, what's that? That's a big something. Water? Can I blast it? Maybe not. Well, I guess we're learning, right? Well, she's not yelling at me, so... That's good, I guess. Thought I saw... Oh, yeah, there we go. What's that? Use hand scanner to place an outpost beacon. I don't know that I really want to do that. So can I check like, oops, can I check my, can I check how far along I am on that mission? Gather iron, so lead isn't doing it for me. We've got this abandoned mine, I don't even know if it's going to be an iron mine. If I saw my little scanner earlier, there was like a little radioactivity mark, so. I'm hoping it's not like all radioactive in there. I probably just could have gotten in my in my ship and landed over there. But at least I think I can fast travel back, so that's good. 
I guess I could run, but I kind of don't want to. I'm assuming that would waste my, uh, my oxygen. So I hope I can get to this mine once we get over there. Well, I don't like whatever that is. So do I need to, like, scan this even more? Well, so I could make a... Oh, look, I'm surveying. Nice. So I could, like, create an outpost, but... I don't think I'm quite there yet. Ooh, look at this glowing thing. Chlorine. Don't rush the scan. Wouldn't want to overlook anything valuable. Okay. I saw something over here. I hope lead's worth it. Seems like it's kind of, kind of common. Okay, where's that abandoned mine? Must be on the other side of this ridge. Okay, that's kind of cool. There's a dude. Interesting. Spacer. Wonder if that's good or bad. Guess we'll find out. I better, uh, better change weapons. Let's see. And we'll put it down. Select that. You'll do the 115 rounds, huh? What's the solstice? Oh. Got 310 rounds of that guy. He does almost no damage. We'll go, well, we'll go with the Maelstrom. Why not? Let's see what that bad boy does. She's got her little gun ready, too. Got any iron on here? There's a lot of people shooting. No. There's a lot of people in here. Level 14. Oh, I get back up. Come on. Look at she's going down there. Ooh, I'm getting all shot up.
level 14. Sitting over the side, at least. This guy's a little tough. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Um, let me see. Yeah, I used a lot of ammo during that. So you go up to weapons. This is taking way too long. Where'd he go? Ooh, hit him right in the face. Jeez, that guy's messing me up. Wish I could shoot that dude. I need to get that dude. Healing him, so. left. Nice. <laughs> I think I just smacked. Sorry. <laughs> Just smack Sarah. I was trying to stand up. Sorry, Sarah. Didn't mean to crack you in the head. Let's see. What do you got? More ammo. Good. I'm back up to 200. All right, so we shot a bunch of spacers. I think there's one upstairs too. Sounds a nice little, uh, nice little fight. That was cool. I was digging it. I wish there was like a VATS type system. I'll have to figure that out. Three frag grenades. That's pretty sweet. They do a lot of card playing around here. Reactive gauge. Alright. So this looks like some 
some building stuff type stuff which is good ammo case what's that shotgun nice I was just laying there Sarah you okay hope she's okay she seemed to not mind me shooting up the place a lot wish I could just find some iron ore here be kind of cool Can we get inside this thing oh now we're going inside the abandoned mine so hopefully hopefully we can find some iron in here maybe that would be kind of cool What are we doing in here? We're just supposed to be going to Venus. You get me all shot up. Anyway, I can't have a light. Okay, yeah, I... These access stairs lead deeper into the mines. I hope we remember the way back to the surface. I hope we do too. What are you talking about? I just wish I had a flashlight. Or something glowing. There, yeah, that's what I need. Where'd you get that? Can I trade with her? So, all she's got is laser cartridges. What do I have? I have laser cartridges also. I can give those to her. Yeah. Doesn't have a flashlight, though. Oh, it must be on her helmet. So I don't have a helmet that... Oh! I don't have a helmet that has a flashlight on it. What the hell? More spacers. A lot of more spacers. Ooh. Yeah, I think we can get out of here. <laughs> I don't know if I want to fight all these guys. Where'd she go? <laughs> Man, there's a lot of stuff flying. That's he's just standing up there just firing away. Finally, that's pretty interesting. She went down there. <clears throat>
run away. I need some med kits. I hope I can change to my rifle. Um, go here. Let's do nothing. Look at that thing. Got 24 rounds of that thing. Let's try that. They're all holed up down there. Yeah, these things have no zoom at all. What are you doing, Sarah? Should we try and go up? I don't know. Yeah. Alright, I think we can get out of here. Ooh, it's so dark. even get in here. Come on, Sarah. Gotta get out of here. What the? Had about enough of that. We didn't really check outside at all. Don't happen to have any iron ore laying around, do you? Mm, I don't think we want to go in the high voltage area. Of course, you probably do, but. So I'm assuming that I can't fast travel. I'm assuming that I can't fast travel uh, if I'm over encumbered. I can try though. Go to my ship? Yeah. Alright, so we got a trade. Only one <clears throat> point of Moera's Want to see what I'm carrying? Yes. Got the Equinox. That's pretty fancy. Uh, no, no. Well, we can give her weapons, I guess. Give her that thing. That thing. And, oh, look at that one does. 11 damage. This 
That maelstrom only does four damage. Uses the same ammo. Does way more damage. Fire's a lot slower, though. Oh, and it's got a scope. Nice. We'll give her that one. So let me go back. I'm going to take that one. Oh, wait. I didn't want to give it to her. Hold on. I actually want to... Let me see. Okay, I can fast travel now. Talk to you later. And I'm going to... Yeah, you know, look at that crazy rifle on my back. It's got, like, wood on it, and I'm walking around Mars. <laughs> All right, we'll go inventory. I actually want to change that to that one, I think. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. All right, now I think we can star map. We can go up here. We can go over here. We can go to our ship. Yes. And I'm level four. I get another point. What am I doing? Move on. I need to. I need to get on top of that. Right, I think we should go. You know what? Let's go to Venus. So we don't have to go through all that. We can go back one, and we have to go to Venus. How much of this have we surveyed? 82%? That's pretty sweet. Alright. Let's go to... I guess we go to the science outpost, huh? Travel to Venus. Let's go! detection hmm okay So I'm kind of wanting to go around the other side of this, this big rock. Oh, great serpent, bless this communion that we may walk in Janan Verun's footsteps. That he jumped from the soul system out into the beyond and touched your magnificence. That he learned the truth of the shrouding coming eternal embrace that you will reward the promised and cast the accursed into shadow 
She's crazy. We're still 4,000 meters away. Man. We gotta get within 500, huh? Okay, we'll just try and be very patient. Although we're closer to them than we are to the... We need to go over here. Try and get as far away from this guy as I can. So we'll try and go around this big meteor and then come back around and see if we can see the satellite. They don't detect a big old lumbering ship like us. I feel like we're getting closer to them than we are to the beacon, but maybe not. They will just float. They're like right there. They're like right below us. I'm hoping we'll get past them and then that number will start going up. think so we're still like really close to them there they are they're like right there you can see them in the lower right <laughs> be quiet weapon specialist okay so we should be past them I would think maybe so tempted to like push forward on the throttle a little bit but I don't want to mess everything up we're almost there man we're locked out of that baby Five hundred meters. away from those ships, I wonder. I don't know that I can turn around and look without changing the direction of the ship, so... So 
so I see this satellite beacon distance I'm hoping that the distance is always almost like equal to how far we're getting away from those guys also so I think I can put my shield back on all right so I think we can go here go up here and I guess we could scan it as well all right we need to go out and we need to go to the soul system huh all right Let's set a course for earth All the junk. All right, so we made it to Earth. That's pretty cool. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a break here and uh, end this video, and we will pick it up right where we left off. So we don't see any enemies at the moment, so we should be okay. We'll add a little more missile just since we got a guy that can fire missiles. So maybe we'll look for some debris, I don't know. Um, but when we come back, we'll definitely check out what's left of Earth and go to the star yard. Looks like we're gonna probably have to do some combat, so that'll be pretty cool. So I hope you come back and see me for part five. Um, it was very nice to have you here. Please consider subscribing to the channel to help the channel grow. Click like to help more people find the video. And until next time, I'm Ron, and you've been watching a Ron Plays.